Hi, I'm David. Hi, I'm Arzina. Welcome back to Love More Travel. We're back here in Penang, Malaysia, and today we're close to Georgetown area in an area that's actually called Chu Jetty. Arzina, you want to explain what this area is? So Chu Jetty is a couple, basically this is a neighborhood where there's a lot of Chinese Malay. They started as Chinese immigrants that came to live here in the mid 19th century and their homes are basically built on stilts. And this is a UNESCO World Heritage area. So we're looking forward to kind of looking around and there are some stores here, there's food and there's lots of beautiful um, architecture. So we're gonna go take you on, on, on the tour with us. Yep, so enjoy the trip around Chu Jetty. See you we start into Chu Jetty. This is a little sign outside that kind of gives you a little information. And as Arzina mentioned, this was actually established in the mid 19th century. So they actually build all these houses on a jetty, which is basically stilts. So they'll end up right on top of the water. And as you come in, you see there's all kinds of little shops and stuff. But for, as we go back further, you're going to see there's actually people that still live right. here. So as you see, we're still like in kind of a touristy area with shops and stuff. What's interesting is if you look down here, this is more the residential. People actually live back here in these little huts. Really, really interesting to consider living in a UNESCO World Heritage Site. What do you think, Arzina? Oh yeah, it's pretty incredible. I love these little narrow pathways or alleyways where people are just like going in with their scooter and they're yeah, going home, right? Yeah, every once in a while you'll, maybe I'll catch a scooter where, cause they, yeah. they live here, so they have to ride the scooter down yeah. in here. Yeah, yeah. So we'll continue here in a little bit. As I mentioned earlier, you see people on their scooters coming and going, so. There's a prime example of people living everyday life. Look at this. Just amazing. I've never really experienced anything quite like this before. I think that's why it's and look, part there's of the, the address. UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's, it's very unique and very well established so long ago. So yeah, beautiful. and as we're walking and looking at some of the, the prices at the souvenirs, you would think in in a touristy area that sometimes souvenirs, t-shirts, things like that are way more expensive. It's actually quite the opposite. We're finding everything here is super reasonably priced. One part that Penang is famous for is the street art. And as you see here, it actually has made its way into the Chu Jetty area. Kind of so depicting pretty. everyday life here in the jetty. And as you pan around here, you see off to the distance some other parts of the jetty. So there's more than one jetty. Mm -hmm. And this gives you an idea of the location. Over here is actually mainland Malaysia. So Penang is an island, but it is connected to the mainland by two bridges. And I believe that area is called Butterworth. So this is part of the, the jetty that's very, you know, you get a better view of the water and just kind of a view of the area. It's just amazing to see these these homes. Yeah, it just goes, it just keeps going. It's a maze. Not a maze, well, it's amazing, but it's also a maze. You could definitely get lost walking around through here. But it's it's just a very unique experience so far. So part of the Chinese heritage is what's something called dragon boats. Never seen one of these up close and personal before. I'm sure it was functional at one point, now it's more for pictures and tourists, but dragon boats are definitely part of the Chinese heritage. And you see some more places to get, I think we're getting closer to where they serve a lot of food. Yeah, it looks and like that. And look on the other side here, look over there, there's a beautiful temple. For those of you who don't know, Penang is very multicultural, mostly Muslim but you have Buddhist, um, Hindu, I'm sure even Christian, probably Jewish, <laughs> all yeah. different religions Just are like welcome any other here. Yeah. In the world. I mean, yeah. any, 
Yeah, any major countries, they have a lot of every, you know, culture and every religion and diversity, but mainly Muslim, but this is an interesting area of Penang, I love it. For sure. So as we so showed you earlier, the temple uh, in the background with the other area of uh, the jetty, and then David. So back over my shoulder here, you see the bridge that connects mainland Malaysia to Penang. Mm -hmm. There are two. This is the newer, uh, more modern bridge. Um, just a different viewpoint from here. So just a really interesting, you see some of these, uh, I think these are like crab nets or yeah. fishing nets of some type. So yeah. it's a very working kind Functional. of yeah. Yeah. neighborhood. Yeah, very, so very nice. Interesting to see. Yep, very beautiful. All right, we'll catch you in a little bit, but there's that bridge again. It's a long bridge and it goes all the way from the uh, island of Penang all the way into the mainland, into Malaysia. This is a cute little spot right here towards the end of the jetty. It's called Happy Family. Looks like maybe at some point it either was a restaurant, maybe still is, but if it is, today it's closed. But yeah, you see some little tables and a counter. So probably at some point it was a functioning restaurant, but they have a lot of cute little sayings, relax, peace. Respect. Yeah, no whining. That's always a good one. <laughs> but again, we're just trying to capture some of the, um, the basic things that you'll see here in the Chu Jetty. Hey, welcome back. So we've crossed the street from Chu Jetty. Now we're at the Jetty Food Court. So you know one of the things that we love when we're exploring is some awesome street food. So yeah, we're gonna walk go around see. here and see what all's inside. Okay, all kinds of options in here. Uh, something, loud, so. yeah, something called Penang fried rice which I guess is a little bit different than... They have oh, it yeah. in the pineapple juice. Yeah, pineapple fried rice, and uh, the prices look very reasonable. <laughs> oh, the, look, they have the clay pot rice, which we had in Singapore. That's always something that's really yummy. But it's a, it's a busy, happening little area. All kinds of uh, different food options. Plenty of tables to sit down. Indian food, Western food. Yeah, and it's actually it's covered. So if you come here, either in the, the yeah, look at this big fan. <laughs> so that I keeps it <laughs> it keeps it nice and cool in here. And it's interesting because, um, like I said, if you come during the middle of the day, you'll be covered from the sun. So it's pretty cool. Hey, we've left the jetty area. Now we're in a famous area called Armenian Street. And one thing that it's famous for is the street art. And this is one of the most famous pictures right here. Everybody's waiting to line up to get the picture of the two little kids on the bicycle. And again, as we mentioned before, Chinese New Year is approaching. So you see the, the red lanterns. And this is just a, such a cute little area. The, the architecture here is is amazing all these very very old buildings shops and houses it's just a beautiful area and we're here about 6 6 6 30 in the evening which is a good time because we're not getting roasted by the the um scorching sunlight all right as we continue our trek down armenian street you see we're here at the georgetown unesco world heritage site Shows you kind of an overhead view of a little bit of this area. You see a little more of the street art. This is some that's done with metal. And it's interesting to just look at the, these buildings are so old. So beautiful, look at all that. So mm -hmm. And then as I continue to pan around here, Wait until you see this little area. Here's a cute little bike with a Malaysian flag. And then here's a little, little tiny walking street. It kind of reminds us a little bit of that one section we were in in Singapore a few years ago with all the little umbrellas. This is definitely a little walking area though. So we're gonna take a stroll down through here. 
Okay, as you can see, it's dark now. We've been out all afternoon now into the early part of the evening. And we're at the Red Garden Food Paradise, which is some sort of hawker center, which is similar to what we experienced in Singapore, again, several years ago. So we're looking forward to walking through here and seeing what interesting food options we right. can find. So as we come in, we're very impressed with the different varieties. That started out with um, Vietnamese food, traditional curry chicken. This is something I'm not familiar with. Yin Ki Guan Dong rice roll. <laughs> Very interesting. Maybe with some shrimp in there yeah. and like some bok choy on the side. Yeah. Definitely a lot of international international choices back through here. Even things like uh, food from Taiwan. Wow. All kinds of soup. Pizza, if you want pizza, biryani, chicken, and pizza. That's an interesting mix. Yeah, Musi is like a, a healthy bowl. Well, in between uh, duck salad and biryani chicken. Definitely a, an interesting mix of cuisines at one restaurant. all your fried rice. This looks like some, a lot of Thai. Thai fried rice, all kinds. A, look at the end. It's American fried rice. Oh, there's the charcoal fried rice, which is nice. Street food, Rojak. We still haven't tried Rojak yet. At some point, we will try Rojak. I'm still not sure about durian. But I think we'll, we'll actually try Rojak at some, at some point. Down here you see a lot of seafood. There's some more time. Mm -hmm. Clay pot chicken rice, that's always a good choice. Clay pot beef rice. Mm. I've never had it with the beef. I may have to give that a shot. And it looks like there's some Thai Thai restaurants, which you know we love our Thai food. So Thai food always has a... Look at the vegetables. Good eggplant. Okay, so folks, this is something I've never seen on a menu before. Fried spicy stinky beans. I don't think I want to try stinky beans. What about you, Arzina? I don't know if anybody knows what stinky beans taste like. <laughs> if let you us know what know. stinky beans are, <laughs> let us know in the comments because that's a new one. <laughs> that's something I will say, you know, as we food. as we travel, we're always finding, um, oh look, some good satay. We always find different things no matter where we travel and that's definitely new. A lot of vegetables here. Oh, yeah? Here's some dumplings over here. Chinese cuisine. Oh, this is good. Look, you can get... You can get... Uh, Dumplings, they even have vegetarian dumplings. And what's nice here is. Vegetarian you, dumplings? Go ahead. You can get um, one piece. <laughs> vegetarian yeah, dumplings. Right and they also have. They don't have it anymore. But dumpling with leek and egg. Interesting to see all the different options. So we're gonna take
take a little time, figure out what we want, and then we'll show you what we end up All right, getting. we've made our choices and our food has arrived. Arzina, tell everybody what all we've got. This is scallion pie, and this is vegetarian dumplings. And then David has some satay. Chicken satay Chicken with the satay. peanut sauce. Yep. And, and then I what did you get to drink? I wanted a drink, which is a soy drink, a soy like drink, whatever it is. Just it's soy milk, milk, basically. It's a soy bean drink. So yeah. I'm going to have this. Let's try this. All right. And while she's starting, let me show you. This big bottle of water and her soy drink delivered to the table was 5.9 ringgit. Very reasonably priced. Everything very reasonably priced, actually. Hot. Good flavor, though. Yeah, very good. All right, so we're going to enjoy our food and we'll check in as we wrap up the evening. Okay, we're gonna say good night from uh, the Georgetown area of Penang. It's been an interesting afternoon into the evening, exploring, trying some different food, mm -hmm. and just walking around, seeing some of the sights. It's yeah. definitely a uh, part of Penang that's very touristy, yes. and we can kind of see why. Yeah. Beautiful. All right. So until next time, live more, laugh more, love more, travel, travel more. more. <laughs>